All right, guys, it is Saturday night, and once again, I am so excited because tonight we are watching one of my all-time favorites, which just happens to be one of my daughter's all-time favorites as well. Tonight, we are watching Jimmy Neutron, Boy Genius. This movie is absolutely hilarious. It's a Nickelodeon movie. Jimmy is a little kid who invents all kinds of crazy stuff, including a spaceship to take them to outer space where they run into space aliens. Of course, there's a lot more that happens. The space aliens first come to Earth and take all the adults, so all the kids go absolutely nuts doing everything that kids would do if they were alone on the Earth without adults. Jimmy Neutron, boy genius, one of the most awesome movies I've ever seen from Nickelodeon, guys, and we are going to watch it tonight, but not before making our awesome snack. It's kind of difficult to even explain to you what that's going to be, so you're just going to have to come along for the ride while we hit Walmart and the Dollar Tree to get everything we need, bring it right back here, and then make our snack slash craft. So without further ado, who's ready to brain blast? Okay, so I think we are gonna go to Walmart instead of the Dollar Tree because I am pretty dang sure that Walmart's gonna have exactly what we need for this awesome snack slash craft for our Jimmy Neutron movie night. All right, let's go. Yeah, I knew this would be perfect right now, guys, because being Easter, they have all kinds of different plastic Easter eggs here, which are perfect for what we're gonna make. These are pretty dang small and not really what we want at all. And they have all kinds of different sizes here. And this is like exactly the kind of thing I had in mind. Look at this right here. Okay, this has a green bottom and a clear top. That is perfect. That's $4.98 for that right there. And you got smaller ones down here, which also have the green bottom and a clear top. And these are $3.24. Look at this, they've even got giant ones here. These aren't clear, but how cool is that? A gold one. I would love it if I could find some this size that were clear, but didn't already have like the chick face on it or whatever that is. Here's some small ones as it looks like these are a buck a piece. This would be cool if you wanted to make a, a bunch of them. So here's some unicorn eggs for only $2 a piece. It's basically the same thing. I don't see any green though. We got blue, red, yellow, light blue. I guess those will work anyway. And we're gonna need the candy eyeballs. These are $3.88. At the Dollar Tree, they're only $1.25 and they have bigger ones. I have some at home, so I don't need to get them, but I am gonna check the Dollar Tree just in case, because maybe I want the bigger ones. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. So I have a couple ideas here. One of them involves green peeps, but I don't see any green peeps. So we're gonna experiment and get one pack of each color, pink, blue, and yellow. They have a bunch of cotton candy here, but this is the only green one I can find, and it's four bucks. I know I can get a bag of cotton candy at the Dollar Tree for a buck 25, but I don't know if I can get green, so I'm gonna go ahead and get it, even though I hate to spend four bucks on it. And I guess we'll go ahead and get this big Lilo and Stitch Easter egg. Okay. Let's check out the Dollar Tree here. So they do have a ton of different eggs here, although I don't see any that are clear, except for the ones back here that, like those other big ones we saw, is like a bunny and a chick. I do see bigger ones down here, but also, well, okay, these are clear, but they open from the side. We want them to open from the top. See what I mean? cotton candy for a buck 25 but we have pink 
yellow. I think we have blue there, but I don't see any green. And what do you know, guys? Right here, green peeps. That's exactly what I was looking for. I like the idea of having the multicolored aliens, but the green ones are really what I was after. So if I would have come here first, I would have found these guys and not bought the other ones. So here's what I've decided to do. Since I already bought the yellow, the blue, and the pink peeps, and I only bought three eggs for those, and I don't have any other clear eggs here, I'm just going to leave the green ones because we're going to make a big green one anyway. Yes, I am glad I came over here anyway, though, because they do still have the large candy eyeballs. Okay, so I got the eyes in the Dollar Tree. Um, yeah, like I said, if I'd have gone there first, I broke my rule. I always try the Dollar Tree first because it's the cheapest, and you can usually find what you want there. Um, had I gone there first, I would have found those green peeps. That's exactly what I wanted. But yeah, since I already bought the other colored ones from Walmart, I'm just gonna stick with those. And I only bought three of the small clear eggs, um, one for each color. So I'm not going back to Walmart to get more and they didn't have any other clear ones in there. So let's go ahead and get home. I'm pretty sure we have everything we need. I have pipe cleaners at home. I think that's it. So yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so we are back home. We are at our craft table down here in the home theater. So let me show you what I got at the store because some of the things I did not show you as I picked them up. I had these left over from when we did our Teen Wolf basketball hoop. These are just multicolored pipe cleaners that I picked up at the Dollar Tree, buck 25. As I showed you earlier, I got three packs of peeps. We got the blue, the yellow, and pink. We did not get any of the green ones because as I also said, I only bought three of the small eggs. I actually had six in my cart and I decided to put three of them back because why do I need to make six? <laughs> so that works out perfectly though because we have three different colors of peeps. Now you will notice these eggs already come with stuff in them like this kind has some kind of building blocks in them. We're not actually gonna use those, but it was the only way that we could actually get the clear eggs with the green bottom. I also bought the one ginormous egg, and the same thing, this is a Lilo and Stitch egg. It has, I don't know, it looks like a jump rope or something like that inside. So if you were just buying this for your kid for Easter, you would want that stuff inside, but we're not actually gonna use it. We're just gonna use the egg. So we also have the green cotton candy. We have the large candy eyeballs that I got at the Dollar Tree. And then I have a Ziploc bag full of the small candy eyeballs that I used when we made, what was it? The hog pops. <laughs> when we watched Groundhog Day. So I got a whole bunch of those left, so I didn't buy any more of those. But these are bigger, so I wanted the big ones too. So if you guys have never seen Jimmy Neutron, Boy Genius, there are aliens in that movie that basically look like an egg. They're even called the Yolkians, but instead of being yellow like a yolk, they are green. So that's why I wanted the eggs with the green bottom and the clear top, just like these. In the movie, the alien is an egg, but you can see through the clear top to his actual face with the eyes. He's like a blob in there with two eyes. Then he has arms on the outside. So that's what we're gonna be making today for our snack slash craft. If you guys are enjoying me doing these crafts in this show, please leave a comment below and let me know. Most people like them. There's been a couple people who have told me they don't like the craft segment. And I don't plan on doing it all the time, but I think it is a fun addition. It helps to bring in your snack to the movie that you're watching. So, okay, let's go ahead and get this stuff organized here and figure out how we're going to make these, because I've never made them before. <laughs> so as you guys are making these right along with me, I am making them for the very first time myself. Okay, so let's pull out the laptop here and get a picture of what these aliens look like. I will show you guys, and then you will be able to see exactly what it is that we are making. So we're just gonna go to Google here. Jimmy Neutron Yolkians. You could also just put aliens in there and it'll still come up. So, all right, let's find a good picture of these things. because we have to be able to look at it to make our model. Okay, here's a pretty good one. I'm gonna show it to you guys right here. You can see this one is actually King Yolkian. He has the crown on his head. He has arms coming out the side. He has like the zigzag that makes up his mouth. 
and then the green blob inside with the two eyes. So that's going to be our model. I don't know that we're going to go as far as making like the king crown, um, but we're going to do our best just to make a model of one of these aliens, or actually four of them. <laughs> We're going to make a big one and three small ones. So I'm going to put that over to the side and let's go ahead and get started. Let's start just by taking the plastic off of these. There we go. Yeah, this comes with like, it looks like a little airplane. <laughs> and then we got a jump rope here and a yo-yo. There's a little yo-yo in this one. So there's that one. That's the only thing we're going to use right there, the empty egg. And then we have these three right here as well. And there's like little Legos or building blocks in these. But we're also not going to use those. We're just going to use the egg itself, the base the clear top, and that's what's going to make our aliens. All right, there we go. Those are prepared. Now, I think the first thing we should do is work on the outside. We'll put our blob and the eyes on the inside when we get the outside all done. So what I want to do is take some pipe cleaners, because these are going to be the arms. Since we have yellow peeps, I'm going to use yellow pipe cleaners for that one. We have blue peeps. So even though these aren't blue, they're purple. I'm going to use the purple ones for the blue peeps. And then we have pink peeps that we're going to use red. And we have the green cotton candy to make the big one. And with that, we're going to use the green pipe cleaners to make green arms. That way the arms are as close to the same color as the alien's body as they can be. So just so you can see what I'm doing, I think I'm going to start with the big egg here. Now I can see that in the picture, the alien has like some kind of a wrap around, like it looks like in the picture it's metal or something. We're not going to go that far. Um, we're going to use the green base to take place of that, but we are going to give him like the little zigzag smile. And I don't have any yellow tape, but I do have black masking tape. So that's what we're going to use to make that zigzag on there. I love going back and watching these when I'm editing and just seeing them come together. Because at first you're like, how are you ever going to make an alien out of an egg? Somehow we always do. So we're going to take this strip of black tape here and we're just going to cut it in a zigzag, kind of like on Charlie Brown's shirt. And then we're going to use that as the zigzag mouth for our aliens. Pretty sticky. Careful not to fold it over on itself. Hmm, okay. That just looks like a big M. <laughs> Let's cut this and we'll just stick it on here to give it another zig on the end there. Cut this one and stick it on this end to give it another zag. That way it no longer looks like an M. It's more like the zigzag mouth. So we'll put it right on the bottom here to give him the zigzag mouth. Okay, it's a start. Now let's do the arms. So with him, I said we were going to do green arms. So we want his arms to be a little bit bigger than what the small ones are going to be. Let's use a full pipe, bend it over, and just twist it a little bit. Bend it right there. So there's one arm. And we use another one and do exactly the same thing. And there's arm two. So now we have two arms. Clear tape. Let's see. And I think to make this easy, I think we'll attach them to the bottom so that when you open the top, to get your snack out, you don't have to mess with the arms. All right, there's one. <laughs> and there's two. And then we can bend them like this, like they're bent at his elbows. Okay, that's coming along. All right, let's see. We need to give him some fingers. He doesn't really have hands. So let's take another one of these, fold it over, fold it over again, and one more time. Spread this out a little bit, and it's kind of like a hand there. Then we can go to the end of the arm, yeah, there we go. Look at that. That works good. <laughs> All right, this is going to turn out good. All right, there we go. Now he has two hands. I got him a little crooked there, but it'll work. Now I see that he has some black things up around his shoulders there. Let's go ahead and use a little bit of our black tape that we have left from uh, from cutting out the mouth and we'll just wrap it around each of the, each of those all right you can't see it very well it's kind of dark on there but that gives it the black part there so far there's our alien right there now we need to make the inside blob with the two eyes so let's take the top back off and we're going to use 
our green cotton candy for this one. Now, this is Warheads cotton candy, but you can see on the top there, there's little packets of the Warheads in there, so you don't actually have to add that. That's like a really sour candy, so we're not going to add that. Yeah, sour flavoring is what that is. Maybe you like that. I don't particularly, so we're going to go ahead and just... Mmm, that smells so good. Look, I held it up there as if you could give it a whiff. <laughs> so we got a big blob of cotton candy here. We're just going to turn it over and put it right in the egg there. Now, you can kind of see that that's all he is. It's just a blob of green, and he has two eyes. And that's where our big candy eyeballs come in. Let's go ahead and get two of those out. Two. There's two pretty good looking ones right there. Now we just need to form this like a blob with two parts coming up for the eyes. So let's just go down the middle here. Oh wow. This might be a little bit more difficult than I thought. <laughs> Look at this. It's already sticking to my fingers. Mmm. Okay well do the best we can with this. If you just squeeze onto it for a second Cotton candy will kind of melt into itself. This is very sticky. Okay, so it also is crumbling, but that's okay because you can eat it while you do this. All right, so without destroying it, that's probably the best I'm going to be able to do. And now we can add the eyes in there. Should be able to just press it right in. Yeah, there we go. There's one. In fact, if you lick the back of it, get it a little wet, it's going to stick better on that candy. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this looks so corny. All right, it's just a fun craft. Let's put the top on. He doesn't have a nose. And there he is. There's our first alien. What the heck? <laughs> I gotta fix that smile and stick it on there. That's a little bit better there for the jagged smile. But yeah, there's our first alien, guys. This is basically how all of them are gonna look. Only this one's gonna be the big green one, the king. And then these three will be like the smaller ones. Before we finish with this guy, I think he needs a little something more. Let's go ahead and make him his crown. So he can officially be King Yokian. Piece of poster board. Silver duct tape that I have here. Let's just cut a piece off here. Guess about the size for a second. Pull it around like this. And that looks about the perfect size to sit on his head. So let's take the duct tape first. Because we're going to make the crown silver. If I had gold duct tape, that would be cool. In fact, Dollar Tree has like shiny gold duct tape. That would be perfect for this if you wanted to add that to your list. So I put duct tape on that whole thing to make the whole thing uh, silver. I'm just going to fold it down on the top, fold it up on the bottom to make it nice and clean. Cut off that end. And this end we still have a couple pieces of tape. So we can pull it around, join it, even it up, and tape it to itself. And where the seam is, that'll be the back. And if you set it on top of your yolky and you'll see where it is the perfect size to fit right on his head. But we first need to take our scissors and form that crown. It looks like his crown just kind of comes up in spikes. So let's just do that. We're just going to go around the crown and cut zigzags so that it forms those spikes. All right, there we go. So there's his crown. <laughs> of course, he has jewels on his crown. So, I mean, you could take a marker and draw some jewels around there. But this will work for me. There's his crown. And it looks like these spikes kind of bend out. So let's go ahead and just give them a little bend all the way around. There you go. That way they kind of stick out just like in the picture. And we can take some clear tape and tape it on there. Oh my gosh. All right, there he is. There's King Yolkian right there. And then when you take the top off, you have a whole bowl of awesome green cotton candy to eat during your movie. Now, if you don't happen to find the big egg or the cotton candy, that's why I went ahead and got the smaller ones right here so we could have a different option. We also have the small eyes to use with the small Yolkians. Now, with these... Instead of using the tape, because I think that would be a little bit more difficult, I got a black permanent marker. We're just going to draw the uh, the jagged mouth on there. So you got to be kind of steady doing it, but there we go. That'll work. Just do that on each of these. There we go. So each of them now has a zigzag mouth, and each of these is going to have a different color alien 
and arms. So let's go ahead and do the yellow first. We're just going to do it the same way we made the other ones, only these are going to be shorter so we can cut one of these in half. Twist it up a little bit to make an arm, bend it, fold it in half, twist it up, bend it. There's two yellow arms. We need to make the yellow hands. So again, we're going to cut this in half, fold it over, fold it over again, and spread it out. And these guys will each only have three fingers, just because. <laughs> so there's our yellow arms with the hands. Do the same with the purple, or blue if you have it. There's the blue, and there's the red. Use our clear tape and add them on there. Okay, they're coming along. Now, we're going to add our peeps slash aliens. So... So we're going to take two of these peeps right here, break a little bit of the back so that the marshmallow is exposed on each of those, then we can stick it together like that. Then we also have some marshmallow exposed on the sides like that. So we're going to put it in the egg like this, with this being the bottom. There we go. Man, these things are sticky. So there's the yellow. We'll come back to each one of these after we get them prepared and we'll give them eyes. Two blue and two pink. Now to add the eyes. So the parts of the marshmallow that are exposed on there are really sticky, so that's how we're going to stick our eyes on. <laughs> Look at that. Then goes the top. And there's our yellow alien. Here's our blue alien. And there is our pink alien. And there you have them, guys. Candy Yolkians to eat while we're watching Jimmy Neutron. All right, guys, well, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Saturday Night Snack and a Movie with Jimmy Neutron and our candy Yolkian aliens. I think they also call them goo bots because they're basically just a bunch of goo inside an egg. But anyways, I am going to sit down and watch Jimmy Neutron, Boy Genius, with my alien friends. But not before talking about the movies that you guys are going to choose from for next week's Saturday Night Snack and a Movie. Now, usually I like to take you guys with me while I look at every video on the shelves here. And then we choose three out of those. I offer them to you and you guys vote on what you want to watch next week. But I've bought so many movies lately and I have not switched any of them out on the shelves. So I grabbed three. I thought you would like. This week, we are going to choose between the Emoji Movie, Big Hero 6, and Zootopia. So those are the three movies I will be putting up in a poll on YouTube tonight. Jump on there and cast your votes, and you guys can choose which one of these movies we are going to watch next week for Saturday Night Snack and a Movie. But for now, we're turning out the lights and watching Jimmy Neutron. Jimmy Neutron.